Good morning and welcome back to another week of Thankful Thursday. That's right, you guys. It's Thursday. We're going to give the Lord some praise and some worship through our devotional on this morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another week of leveling up with Tammy in all areas of our lives. That's right, you guys. I'm back. I'm ready motivated and just ready to share with you guys on this thankful thursday day this beautiful lord's day you guys can see that the sun is shining on today is not a gloomy day it's a little chilly but at least the sun is shining brightly on today we woke up this morning and that's enough to tell the lord thank you for on today so yes you guys thursday time to get in we're not going to make this long, drawn-out intro, but we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to go ahead on and anoint myself real quick. I mostly try to do this before, in the name of Jesus, I get started. But nevertheless, I want to make sure I don't forget because, as always, these devotionals is never intended for our flesh, but it's for us, for our spirit man to level up in the things of God on today. So we're going to go ahead and get started with prayer and then we're going to dive right in, you guys, okay? All right. Most gracious and everlasting Father God, we just come before you on today. Hallelujah. Another beautiful, beautiful day that you have allowed us to see. You woke us up this morning. You 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 um breathe the breath of life through our nostrils and our lungs on this morning. And we're here, we're thankful, we're grateful. And God, we just wanna tell you, thank you. Thank you, Abba Yah, for being such a good, 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 good father to us. You've kept us this far in the week without any hurt, harm, or danger. And Lord, we just wanna thank you. I just pray right now that whatever the issues of the viewers on today, Father, whatever the issues of their hearts, whatever they're going through, whatever they're feeling, God, I just pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would just have mercy on them, have mercy on me, God. And I just pray that this devotional on today will be one that, uh, as always, we can go back, we can reflect, and that it's a learning opportunity. It's not just about telling people what to do but it's a way to help us grow and to level up to the next level in the things of the kingdom lord i pray that you would forgive us of our sins sin of omission sin of, sin of commission whatever the hidden secrets is of our heart on today if there are any open portals of unclean spirits that are still connected to our hearts on today father I pray in the name of Jesus that you would forgive us, God. Forgive us so that we can continue to grow in your word and, and grow in our relationship with you on today, Father. And we just thank you for all things. We give your name all the glory and honor. As always, God, I pray that my spirit man will decrease and that your Holy Spirit will get the glory out of this thankful Thursday devotional on today. These and all other blessings we ask in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of your blessed Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Yes, it's Thank Thursday. Hey, it's Thankful Thursday. Yeah, all right, you guys. So, yes, I'm moving right along this morning because y'all already know my routine, things I got to do, X, Y, and Z. All right. Also, if you guys hear any extra noise, unusual noise in the background, as always, Ted is here. I work from home. Have a little bit of soft music playing in the background. And we're gonna go ahead and get this thing started. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, let me stop. All right, you guys. So guess what? Guess what? Your girl is ready. Y'all know it. <laughs> Routine say ain't nothing change. We ain't nothing change. Okay. So you guys, today I have a very good topic as always. I think it's something that the Holy Spirit, of course, gave to me. And I really feel like that it's, it's a teachable, very teachable moment 
through this devotional as I, I would like to think that everything that we have had an opportunity to discuss on this channel has been a teachable moment um, for all of us to reconsider where we are in our faith walk and level up, okay? So, I gave, as always, this, what we're talking about today, a title. But, this title was derived from a very special person in my life, which is my aunt, one of my favorite aunties. She is, she, ever since losing my mom, but even before that, she has always been a major support system in my life. So today's Thankful Thursday is, I guess you can kind of say dedicated or inspired by my aunt, Hermina Rivers. So whoop, 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 whoop. she is a subscriber. She was probably one of my first subscribers. I just want you to know, aunt, today that I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for pushing me and encouraging me to continue to level up in the things of the Lord and to continue to seek the kingdom. No matter what, even if I have to take this role by myself, I know I'm not by myself because if no one else support me, I know that my aunt has my back 1000%. All right. Okay. So the name of the topic today, you guys, is called, Aunt, you ready? You already know. I see, I see, I see. That's the name of our topic today. And if you know, you know. And if you don't know what I mean by I see, I see, I see, then we about to find out. All right, you guys? Yes. Our scriptures today, we're going to go back to the Old Testament. And we're going to be coming out of the book of Proverbs. Just Proverbs today. We're going to start with the first chapter, Proverbs 1 and 7. And then we're going to look at Proverbs, the second chapter, 1 through 5. And then lastly, we're going to go to Proverbs 9 and 10. Very familiar scriptures. I'm sure you guys have probably heard it before, but that's where the Holy Spirit is taking us this morning. So we're going to go ahead and get started. All right. So Proverbs 1 and 7, and it reads... Okay, it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and discipline. Again, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and discipline. All right. So, of course, as always, we're going to go over to our commentary here quickly. And you guys, I'm coming from out of my Tony Evans um, commentary book that I shared with you guys on last week. And let's see what the commentary has to say about the scripture today. Okay, it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Okay, to have true knowledge is to perceive the right nature of the thing. And it's and it is not possible to be truly wise without fearing the Lord. OK, this doesn't mean walking around feeling terrified of God. It means holding him in reverence, taking him seriously. Proverbs teaches that all true wis that all true wisdom and knowledge is rooted in in God and his word. It, and it urges us to cultivate a fear of God through a relationship with him, okay? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, okay? Without knowledge, it's almost impossible to have a true relationship with the creator of the universe, okay? which is our heavenly father, okay? All right, so next we're gonna move on to um, Proverbs, the second chapter, and we're gonna start, um, we're gonna read one through five, okay? And just for reference, chapter two in Proverbs is titled Wisdom's Worth, Wisdom's Worth, okay? It says, my son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, 
listening closely to wisdom and directing your heart to understand to understanding furthermore if you call out to in if you call out to insight and lift your voice to understanding verse number 4 if you seek it like silver and search for it like hidden treasure okay number 5 then you will understand the fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God. Again, we're going to look at verse 4 and 5 again, okay? And it says, if you seek it, if you seek wisdom like silver and search for it like a hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God, all right? Again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, okay? How can we truly, as believers, as follower, followers of Christ, as we are on this journey of leveling up in the things of the kingdom, how can we effectively and efficiently do these things if we don't fear God? It's not possible, which is why. The father, Abaya, he see, he see, he see, okay? He see exactly where we are. He see the deceit. He see the lies. He see, he has a panoramic view of our heart on today, my sisters and brothers, okay? So as that saying go, was done in the dark, we already exposed. Forget of coming to the light. It We're already exposed. Okay? Which is part of the reason why a lot of Christians and a lot of followers of Christ are failing in their faith walk. Why? Because we don't fear the Lord. Okay? We take our Heavenly Father as a joke. Okay, but we're going to come back to that. Let's see what the commentary has to say for wisdom's worth. And we're just going to look at verses four through five in the commentary, chapter two. Okay, so basically it says, um, godly wisdom doesn't just fall into your lap. Did you hear that? Y'all listen. Godly wisdom doesn't just fall into our laps. It ain't just going to fall out the sky and happen, okay? It requires diligent pursuit. Finding it requires digging into God's word the way a miner digs into the ground for silver and other hidden treasures, okay? Why hasn't God made it easy? Okay, glad you asked. Why not leave it why not leave it on top of the ground for you to just pick up? Okay? Because it's too valuable. God's knowledge and wisdom is of great quality. It it is like no other wisdom, okay? It is unmatchable, it is unstoppable. It is to God's wisdom and knowledge is the key to how successful we as believers, we as the body of Christ will be in our faith walk with the Most High, okay? So as always, what we got to do, it's time to level up, okay? All right. People don't mind digging for gold. It's worth their, it's worth their efforts. If there's a vine of gold under, the, under their feet, they know their labor they, they know they know their labor to unearth it will be richly rewarded wisdom is a treasure found in god's word make it your request make it your quest to dig for it and you will discover the knowledge of god okay so again wisdom and knowledge is not just going to fall on our laps okay we're not just going to wake up and all of a sudden we have the knowledge and the wisdom of God. And of course, you guys, we will never 
fully understand the knowledge and the wisdom of our of the most high but the word of god just reminds us we have to seek for it what it real quick it says it requires diligent pursuit what does it mean to pursue something it means you you're looking you're constantly looking researching you're going to do whatever it takes to find that treasure okay so in today's lesson, we want to remember we're in pursuit of God's knowledge and wisdom. Why? Because he see, he see, he see. And on that day when we stand before the Father, okay, on judgment day, he going to remind us of this day. He going to say, y'all remember when you listened to Tammy, Sister Tammy, and she and, and I, through the Holy Spirit, I revealed to her and I, I gave it to her auntie and, and, and she took a hold of it. I see, I see, I see. She just couldn't let it go. And so she had to share it with you guys that I see the issues of your heart. I see your heart. Y'all think y'all hiding from me? No wonder you keep recycling sin. No wonder y'all not committed to me. You know why? Because you don't fear me. We fear the police more than we fear our God. We fear the man on the street corner, the drug dealers, more than we fear the creator of the earth. That's a problem. You know what we gotta do? We gotta level up. Why? Because I see with my four eyes, we see, I see you girl looking at me, level up, all right. Okay, so we're going to move on to our last and final um, scripture, which is Proverbs, the ninth chapter, verse number 10. Okay, and I hope you guys are enjoying this this morning because, hey, the Holy Spirit said he see. He see exactly where we are. We can't fool the creator, okay, because he see, okay? All right, nine and 10, all right? And it says again, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Okay, let me read that again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Wisdom is the willingness and the ability to apply spiritual truth to life's realities again and this quote that i'm reading is not a part of the actual scripture but it says wisdom is the willingness and the ability to apply spiritual truth truths to life's realities okay we already know that we are imperfect people striving each and every day to stay on the narrow path okay remember we can't be on a narrow path and be strapped. No, you got to stay on to both feet all in. To have both feet in on the narrow path means we fear the Lord. We so afraid of slipping that, uh-uh, no, no, no. Nothing is going to keep me off the tight rope, off the narrow path to the kingdom. Because he, we already know that we can't serve two masters. Why? Because he see. He see, he see. He's looking. Looking at you, sis. Looking at your heart. Okay? The Father, the, the, the Most High sees just how disrespectful, how rebellious we are as a people, as a human race, to, when it comes to Him. Yes, some of us strive each and every day to live a life that's pleasing before him in honor and reverence of the father and of his son, Jesus the Christ. But we may, I, you know what? The Holy Spirit gave it to me like this. The reason why <clears throat> we don't take the things of God seriously I, and this is just me, this is just me, you know, we can agree to disagree, but the reason why we don't take 
God and our faith walk seriously is because it's some would say it's hard to believe in or to respect something that you can't see. And remember, we've been talking about our relationship with the Father is not in the natural. So, so it may be easy to show more respect to the police that you can see in the natural. You can see with your in the natural with your eyes, but you, we don't reverence the Holy Spirit or the Most High, which is a spiritual deity, because we can't see him in the natural. That's why I say, those of us, you sisters and brothers that are dead set on this journey of leveling up in the natural, guess what? You ain't gonna make it, okay? Because it's nothing about, the kingdom is not a natural thing, okay? It's all in the spirit, okay? So we gotta level up. We got to pray and ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, that's why when we, Lord, purify my heart each and every day, even when you think that you have not sinned against God or, oh, Lord, I've had a good day. I've done nothing wrong. Remember, he see, he see, he see. God has a panoramic view humongous view of your heart sis we already know that he's gonna judge us according to the heart it's a heart thing for the father and because of that we have to learn like i said die to our flesh level up in your prayer life lord i need you to really deal with my heart any hidden agendas, any secrets, any lies, anything that you know you have done in your lifetime that you even too embarrassed to remember, you better repent, sis. You better repent, bro. Why? Because he see, he see, he see. He sees the issues of our hearts. He see that your pride or our pride won't allow us to fear the things of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Pride is keeping us from leveling up in our knowledge towards the things of the kingdom. Pride is keeping us from wisdom's worth, okay? Wisdom, let me tell you, let me, wisdom is who? Wisdom and knowledge is, is almost, is a part of your ticket to the kingdom. But if we're not seeking him, if we're not picking up our Bibles and reading and studying, and once again, applying wisdom and knowledge to our life daily, to our heart, we ain't gonna make it, okay? We ain't gonna make it, okay? So again, it clearly tells us that, uh, let me go back to Proverbs 9 and 10. It clearly says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So knowledge is understanding God, Un understanding the creator of the universe, okay? As we're, as we, again, on our journey, we're leveling up in the things of the kingdom, okay? We are, we are, you know, diligently looking, seeking, Lord, I want to know you, God, I want to be in a relationship with you, Father. Lord, I don't want to be out here being flaky towards you no more. I got one foot in and one foot out, you know, we we lie to the, to to our pastors, to the church leaders, to to the ministries. We just lying, knowing good and well that we 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 tripping, slipping, and dipping, sinning, laying with us, doing un, 
all that okay sin is sin no there is no no one greater than the other a lie if you a liar sis tammy if you got a lying tongue you better level up repent holy spirit activate take these lies out my mouth period because no he said he despised a liar the father despised deceit he despised people that agitators and people that like to keep rumors and 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 bad things going on in the building within the body of christ he despised people that are in competition with other buildings okay he despised that and we do we we so foolish we foolish enough to think that we gonna make it into the kingdom like that remember the father he see he see he see okay he see the issues of your heart deacon he see the issues of your heart pastor he see the the issues of your heart prophet apostle all these titles bishops clergies all y'all he see he got a panoramic view of your heart y'all think y'all tricking the people making the people think like y'all just so holy and dignified he pope pope and you you yeah you he see your heart he see all your little uh people in there that's messing with them kids he see he see he see and you, we so dumb. I'm sorry, y'all. We is some foolish people. Do you really think that we're going to inherit the kingdom with these lies and deceit and lust and fornication? You will tell a lie in a minute and you just keep lying, lies on lies on lies on lies. Girl, you so good at lying. You think you'll make it? know he gonna say uh, i don't even know you you didn't think you gave we we people i ain't gonna say we because we means that include me <laughs> so my sisters and brothers y'all better stop bowing down to these false gods and false prophets y'all better stop putting people on pedestals you show more respect to your church leader than you do to the creator of the universe that's a problem because remember he see he see he see level up the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge seek the things of the father seek the things of the kingdom okay because honey <laughs> we ain't gonna make it no 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 we ain't gonna make it you think that your church is your God? You think that your leader is your God? And if we be for real, for real, if we be all the way 100 with ourselves, because remember, he see, he see, he see. He got a panoramic view. His view is better than an x-ray view. You know, we go to the doctor and they want to do an, ex, an echo and all that stuff on your heart. God, see, he see what that machine can't see. He see all the nooks and crannies, the vessels, the all entang. He sees the entanglements of sin in our heart. And you, and you know why? Like I said, as I was saying in the beginning, the reason why a lot of us believers, followers, whatever we want to call ourselves, have entanglements in our heart. You know why? Because we don't fear the Lord. We fear human. We fear the things that we can see in the natural and we don't fear the spirit. Okay? Don't, we so foolish. Foolishness. What did it say? Let me go back. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hey, listen. What did it say right here, right here, right here? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and fools. Sisters and brothers, us foolish people. 
we despise wisdom and discipline. Hello. And this is why we are failing in our faith walk. This is why we're having a hard time leveling up in the things of the kingdom. Why? Fools, you, uh, all of us, we despise wisdom and discipline. We got to do better, okay? Y'all, we got to do better. We got to level up. Just like when Jesus was here on the earth, God sent his only begotten son into the world to take on sin just for, for foolish people like us, for fools, okay? Why? Because the creator, he loves us, his, his creation so much, he wanted to give us another chance. You know what? I ain't gonna keep killing, letting these people die and go to hell. It ain't enough for y'all coming into the kingdom uh, by based off these laws of the Old Testament. I thank God. Ooh, honey, I don't know if I would have made it back in biblical days in the Old Testament. I don't know. Because you couldn't just obey one part of the law. You had to obey all over uh, 600 commandments of the law. You can't follow one and then deny the others. No. So you don't all, all those that died back in that time? Okay. Okay. But anyway, as I was saying, we got to level up, y'all. I encourage each and every one of us, as always, we have to take our faith walk seriously. We don't have time no more. No more games. No more keep starting over. But only by the grace of God that, and remember, grace and mercy of God is what's keeping us. But the time is ticking, y'all. Remember, he, the word of God says that the son, Jesus the Christ, he don't even know when his daddy going to come. He coming like a thief in the night. He about, a lot of us about to get robbed. You know why? Because we don't fear the Lord. We wonder why the church, we wonder why I say, and a lot of people are coming into this knowledge that Christianity is so wicked. Think about it, people. It's wicked. Let me tell you something. And this ain't got nothing to do with no hurt, no past, no nothing. This, this, is, this is public information. People in the building, people at these churches, y'all is some wicked people. I didn't say all. A-L-L. -L. I never, I didn't say all. I said in Christianity, that religion that's going to Hades, some mean people. The ushers is mean. The deacons is wicked. Before they come in the building, they taking a shot to the head. Smoking. All that. And they ain't, listen, this ain't about condemning nobody, but it's truth. If they did it in the biblical days, do everything in this book, the stories in this book, the knowledge in this book, God has want us to read it so we can get, seek wisdom and knowledge so that we don't continue to err like the people of old times, y'all. But Christianity is wicked. I don't care what you say. <laughs> it's wicked. I want y'all to really, really, really think about that. Pray about that thing. And I pray that the Holy Spirit bring, bring some clarity and truth to, to the fact of the matter. Okay? I refuse to allow religion to send me to hell. Okay? I, I ain't doing it. Period. I can fellowship with you and not participate in religion. Okay, I love y'all. I love my sisters and brothers in Christ. I ain't got no ill will in my heart again. I'm praying for you. Praying for the people. Lord, they got to level up. I'm on pins and needles because I see God has given, the Holy Spirit has touched my eyes, all my four of them, to let me see in the spirit, Lord. The reason why these people sitting up here in the building, like, you got to pump them up. 
You know why? Cause ain't the, 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 the spirit ain't with them. You know why it ain't with you? Cause you don't seek knowledge and wisdom of the creator. You ain't got no prayer life. We ain't seeking, we ain't falling down on our knees like we need to. Jesus the Christ was here. The disciples, they, were they perfect people? Absolutely not. I mean, Peter only denied the Lord three times. Thomas, was he was, he was doubting God. Other folk hanging himself. Paul, he didn't even start out as a as a as a follower. He was a Pharisee. He was with them. He was a Jew. So were they perfect? No. But once they came into knowledge and wisdom, they leveled up. Even in doing that, we still ain't perfect. But guess what? They were they learned how to repent. Jesus the Christ taught them about wisdom and knowledge. He taught them. He was their teacher. He wasn't their pastor. That word y'all love to say. No. He wasn't their pastor. He was their teacher. He was the rabbi. He was the Messiah. Okay? Why do you think he had so many followers? Because he was so pure. Jesus, oh, he was... He, okay? We already know. And, and the people loved him. The followers did, but then you had them haters. That's why they killed them, cause they hated him. They hate. They couldn't stand the wisdom and the knowledge that exuberated out of the pores of Jesus the Christ. That's why they crucified him, cause they couldn't take it. The Pharisees and the Sadducees, the Jews, his own kind, they crucified him. They killed them because. They was just some jealous people. How you gonna kill the man? Like he was here to he was sent here to help us. But I as you continue to read and study, you we know that it was a part of God's plan. He had to be crucified. He had to die on the cross for you, for me. Because guess what? God the creator, he see. He see, he see. Okay? And I ain't gonna say he saw. He see. He see, he see. He saw, he still see today the issues of the people's heart, his creation heart. We have, an, we have entanglements going on in our heart and we need to repent. We need to level up. We need to stop being habitual sinners. We need to stop pimping Jesus the Christ, you know him when you get in trouble. You know him. Oh, God, Lord, have mercy. Stop using the Lord that name in vain. Y'all, we need to stop that fool. Uh, yes, I have said it so many times. But when you level up, when you come into the wisdom and the knowledge of who he is, deliverance come. Sanctification. Again, I don't care who you are who you think you are, the Pope. This is from the Pope in Vatican Rome, where it all where Christianity started. But see, we so hooked up in a covenant to that to to religious that religious sister uh, Christianity that we refuse to accept the truth of the matter. That we ain't supposed to be connected to her. Why? Because it's leading us straight to hell. Christianity, those of us that are, are in and that is in an entanglement with the religion. Y'all so hooked up, woven all that. Y'all trust Christianity, that religion with everything in you. You saying for, for, for Christianity I live and for Christianity I'll die thinking you we are being you being fooled and manipulated i love y'all god let the people know mama leader she told me to let the people know i don't care this is this what lisa said y'all i'm about to come on 40 minutes y'all y'all know i'm multitasking here but let me let me tell you let me see somebody sent me a message what hold on my, girl, my manager always trying to interrupt me good morning One minute, y'all. Uh. 
Okay, y'all, I'm multitasking. I ain't stopping the video. This is real time. I ain't editing nothing out. We just gonna go with flow. But listen, cause we about to be finishing a minute. I ain't think the video gonna be this long. But anyway, but listen though. My mama, Lita, she love the Lord. Those that know, know. Okay, I ain't got time. I'm gonna I'm do that another story time later about my mom. Really, I love her. Lord. I miss my mama, y'all. I miss Lita. I really do. I, I really, really do. And y'all know what? Y'all want to know another reason why I'm so fired up for the Lord and why I come so hard and I got so much passion behind these devotionals is because of Alita. Alita Ann Peterson. Okay? She told me a few years before she died. Y'all, hold on. We gonna keep talking. Okay? She told me a few years before she got, before that the enemy COVID had to come in and, and sniff her out. She told me, she said, I'm praying for you, dude. I'm praying for you and your brother. Because, and she used to tell me, I'd be glad when you get on fire for the Lord. Like, I was running, y'all. I would run, I ain't lying. I would run like, mom, please, you're always talking about this. I didn't want to hear that at the time because you know why I would like that? Y'all, I was like that because I did not fear God. The fear of God was not in me, okay? All this stuff that I'm talking about, I was there. And it wasn't all that many years ago. I was there, okay? And I'm so glad, so glad, so glad, so glad that my mother, she was adamant and she kept on praying. She never gave up on me and my brother. Okay, she said, I'll be glad when you get on fire for the Lord. So now this explains my enthusiasm, my facial expressions, because I the, the Holy Ghost done endowed me with fire. Okay, literally. Y'all, I'm for real. Okay, for real, for real. I did I live I, I I live, move, breathe the word now. Okay. I ain't nothing. I'd rather do nothing else is more important to me than this right here. Okay? This is what, <laughs> my help comes from this. But anyway, y'all, let me let me let me keep going. So as I was saying, my mother, she kept praying for me that I get on fire for the Lord. Okay. And upon her deathbed, a few days before she died, before she transitioned, before the visitation came, okay, she told me to let the people know. Okay, she told my family, but she told me first. Okay, tell the people that I don't care who you are, who you think you are. I don't care if you are a doctor, a lawyer, a police officer, firefighter, all that, preacher, teacher, whoever you think that you are. The Most High says to repent. Why? Because he see, he see, he see. He see the entanglement of your heart sis he sees the entanglement of our heart yes people are like oh he's such an but god is a loving god oh he listen y'all better stop that foolishness we better stop the foolishness okay if you can fear the cops if you can fear uh these crips and bloods and this and that in the natural you better we we got to learn how to fear the lord the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge you we ain't gonna make it into the kingdom without knowledge period i don't care no we're not if you ain't got no knowledge of who he is how well, i'm gonna let you uh add a note to the event that i am reviewing the account okay cool if, if we don't learn to acknowledge God for who he is, reverence him for who he, for who he is, forget about a President Obama coming. Forget who, Obama who? He just a man. I don't care nothing about, look, I don't see, I'm the type of person, I don't get excited about celebrities and, okay. And great, good for you. And it ain't cause I'm hating on you or that I want you. I don't care nothing about that. Think the stuff like that don't make me excited. Maybe once upon a time in my life, but girl, I don't care about that. You, you <laughs> he is the only one. Um, 
he is the only one that's going to get my reverence, period. But anyway, as I wrap this up, y'all, because I'm kind of going left, and y'all see me keep looking off because, you know, I told y'all I'm multitasking, working and stuff. Um, Let me see. Hold on, y'all. Give me a minute. Uh, she, she can wait for a minute. But like I said, we just got to get it together because the, the, the moral of this devotional is Abba Father, the Most High, he see that we don't fear him the way that we should, the way that we was created to fear him. He knows that we don't have knowledge and wisdom of him the way that he intended from the very beginning, okay? So as we're leveling up, as we are growing in our faith wall, we got to pray and ask God to teach us knowledge and to teach us his wisdom, okay? Jesus the Christ did it. He was here. He taught the, the disciples. He, he through his parables, he always spoke in parables. That was him explaining knowledge and wisdom of the creator. But see, if we don't seek, then we ain't gonna know these things, okay? Didn't you say... Y'all, I'm about to wrap this up. As y'all can see, my work day has started. Um, and I got to get ready to shut this down. But y'all, I love you guys. I hope that this devotional has really, you know, is giving y'all something else to reconsider and to think about. As we are leveling up in the things of the Lord. Like I said, I ain't editing none of this. I'm going to keep everything in here to distract, stop working, all this stuff, y'all. I ain't got time to do all the editing today. But I love you guys, okay? I love y'all. I pray that y'all be blessed. Please go back and read the scriptures. We only came from one chapter today. Proverbs. Proverbs 1 and 7. Proverbs, the second chapter, 1 through 5. And Proverbs 9 and 10. Study these verses. Pray and ask the Holy Spirit to give you understanding to what his word is saying. The importance of knowledge. The importance of wisdom. Why? Because, as I said, our title, he see, he see, he see. And we got to level up. All right? Until the next time, you guys, grace and peace be unto you. Hey, it's Thank Thursday. Hey, it's Thankful Thursday. Yeah in a different way today, but y'all get what I had to say. Okay, y'all take care. Bye.